Good day everyone, I am Joyce Ann Bernal from BS Ed 2 and now I am going to discuss to you my topic which is about the innovation in grammar assessment. Approaches of teaching grammar For the previous decades, these are the approaches in teaching grammar that are undertaken by grammar teachers. Number one is PPT, which is called Present Practice Produce. It is a diagram or model used to describe typical stages of a presentation of a new language. This aims to provide opportunity for the learners to use the target structure. Then, learners use prompts to complete sentence with the correct form of verb. For example is, you might teach your students to add ed to the regular verb in English to show the past tense. Number two is the non-interventionist. The non-interventionist believes that the grammar has a minor role in teaching a new language. Stephen Krashen states that a student that cannot verbalize the answer might as well just answer. They are just working with their implicit knowledge in a more introverted fashion. Number three is input processing. It is where learners are guided to pay attention to target language input that is likely to cause a problem. Number four is focus on form, which is systematic in not interfering focus on form that produces a faster way of learning and a higher probability of second language attainment. Number five is input enhancement or visual enhancement. This involves color coding, underlining and enlarging the font in order to emphasize certain features of the output. Number six is input flooding or priming wherein students are flooded with meaningful input with a target former, a syntactic priming is a speaker's tendency to produce a previously spoken or heard structure. Number seven is output production, for their production of outputs concerning the target language. And lastly, the grammaring. It is the process by which a learner requires the ability to use grammar, structure, and ability to use grammar structure accurately. And those are the approaches in teaching grammar. And now let's proceed to innovation of grammar assessment. There are numbers of innovation underway or at least proposed and the way of grammar is being assessed. Number one is redefining a cons the construct. Purpura 2004 defines itself grammatical ability for assessment purposes as involving the capacity to realize grammatical knowledge accurately and meaningfully in test taking or other language use context. Number two is partial scoring. It has been proposed that scoring grammatical items politomously yield information about learners who have an intermediary knowledge of grammar rather than being treated as if they have no knowledge at all. Purpura 2006 Number 3 is social dimension. It is the characteristic of context that affect how language is used and social dimensions. To the social context that are measured are analyzed through the five scale. Number four is standard. Another issue that could be discussed under grammar or teaching or testing is the issue of what targets standard. Technological enhancement, language assessment, innovative approaches for better learning. Today, we are forced to adapt the new normal and utilize the scientific innovation especially for us students in this time of pandemic. 
Here are some technological advancements. Number one is video conferencing. It is a live video-based meeting between two or more people in different location using a video-enabled device. Video conferencing allows multiple people to meet and collaborate face-to-face -face long distance by transmitting audio, video, text, and presentations in real time through the internet. Number two is distance learning. It is the education of students who may not always be physically present at school. Traditionally, this usually involved corresponds courses wherein the students corresponded with the school via mail. Today, it usually involves online education. Number three is digital, digital learning environment. It is a fe federated online environment that includes service tools purposely, purposefully brought together to support the needs of teaching and learning in all mo modes. And lastly, technological advances. Technology affects the way individuals communicate, learn, and think. It helps society and determines how people interact with each other on a daily basis. Technology plays an important role in society today. It has positive and negative effects on the world and it impacts daily lives. Our endeavors adapt to the new technology integration and here are some outcomes. Number one is adaptive testing based on the candidate level of ability. CAT or computer-based training is based on the tailoring of test question to each candidate level ability. CAT is currently available in listening and reading test. Provide question based on the candidate level performance. This gives candidates more positive experience by reducing anxiety during task taking because an adaptive test consists mostly of items target language skills associated with specific level of ability. It is commonly shorter in length than paper-based linear test and can offer immediate result by the end of the test. Second is quick reporting. It enhanced by enable marking computer-based tests in general can increase flexibility and test efficiency and administration and scoring automated marking of writing and speaking skills is also possible by recent advances of all writing linguas. Number three is various mode of testing. It is available for stakeholders, candidate, thus enjoy the freedom to select the test mode which reflect their primary means for communication. Number four is instantaneous feedback. For enhancing learner and teaching with the support of fast developing technology, learner can receive instant detailed oriented automated feedback on their performance, which can promote individualized learning more effectively. It equips teacher with knowledge of their students and enables learner to take control of learning. Right and improve is example of this where learners can practice and improve their writing skills with the help of all powered automated feedback. And last is we have the innovative assessment. For the future new digital assessment and learning is expected to take over more innovative forms such as quiz your English. It is gamified multiplayer mobile application for practicing vocabulary and grammar skills. And we also have virtual reality technology which is being trialed as a medium for simulating real-time tests and eliciting more 
authentic learner's performance.